we want to sing a song for you today. I'm going to clap my hands. If you can jump around and, and sing it with us, that'd be really good. Here we go. I'm going to clap my hands and shout. I love you. going to shout out loud. I'm going to sing your praise. You are everything to me. Jesus, the Lord, is my Hi boys and girls, I'm here to help tell a Bible story. Oh. We wanted to tell you the Easter story. Oh. Marcelo was supposed to be here to help me. Oh. Marcelo, are you here? Oh. Marcelo, Marcelo, are you okay? Oh. Where oh. are you, Marcelo? Oh, I'm so sad. I, I don't think I can up, come up and tell anybody anything. But Marcelo, I, we have to tell the kids the Easter story today. <laughs> oh, I am so sad. Marcelo, we need you. Can't you come up? <laughs> oh, what's wrong, Marcelo? <laughs> I'm so sad. I, I was reading the Easter story. Okay. Oh, oh, I can't talk about it. I'm so sad. Well, the, ah! Easter, the Easter story is a great story. Why oh. are you so sad? Oh, it's. I was reading about Jesus. Yeah. You know, Jesus never did anything wrong. Right. Everybody loved Jesus. He healed people. He was kind to people. And he fed them and healed them and loved them. He told them he loved them and God loved them. Yeah. And they were here to help them. Oh, oh, this next part is so sad. Some some priests and Levites were jealous. Yeah. I got to get the Kleenex. Oh. Yeah, I guess there's a sad part to the Easter story. And you know what those evil guys did? They lied about him and had him arrested. Right. They beat him and nailed him to a cross to kill him. And you know what happened? What happened, Marcelo? Jesus died. Ah! Oh, Marcelo, Jesus did ah! die. He died let, on a cross. Let me see your arm for a minute. Why do you need my arm? <laughs> oh, Marcelo. Oh, oh yuck. yuck. Oh, come on. Jesus did die, but he didn't stay dead. Didn't he did you read? Not? Didn't you read the rest of the story? I will never read another story again. I am so sad. Well, you can't stop in the middle. It has a happy ending. Oh, well, make me happy then. <laughs> well, you see, Jesus didn't stay dead because he he's did God. Not? No, after three days, Jesus came back to life he again. He came back to life after three days. He did. There How was, can he do that? Well, because Jesus is God. Oh, I knew that. Yeah. And an angel came down from heaven, and he rolled away the stone in the tomb. And the angel told Mary and some of the disciples to come in and see where Jesus' body was laying. Come in and see where Jesus is laying. 
Hold it. But Jesus wasn't there. But he was not there. No, because Jesus is alive. Oh, how could he do that? Well, Jesus is God. Oh, I forgot again. Jesus yeah. is God. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, because Jesus was perfect and he never sinned, he paid the price for all of the sins of you and for me. He did that for me? Yeah. He did that for everyone. And when we get old and we die, someday, because we believe in Jesus and Jesus paid for our sins, we can go to heaven and live with him forever. Jesus is alive now in heaven. Jesus is alive in heaven. Because he is God. He can do that. Isn't that exciting? That is exciting. I can be excited now. See, it's a happy Yay! Ending. I do not feel so bad now. Yeah, and after Jesus rose from the dead, all of the disciples saw him and they, they were really him. excited to see Jesus. They gave him a hug. Probably they did. They they ate with him. Oh, they and ate? They did, and they went fishing and had breakfast with Jesus. At the local diner. No, I think it was on a beach. Oh, at the beach. Right. And before uh, Jesus went back to heaven, he talked to a whole bunch of people, like 500 people. 500 people? I am alive, people! Yeah. Do not be so sad! But after 40 days... Jesus went back up to heaven in a big cloud. Ooh. And he told his disciples to share his story with the whole world. Tell my story, guys. And you know what? We can tell Jesus' story to all the people we know, too. Oh, I will tell his story that Jesus is alive in heaven. Yeah. And he's waiting for us. We want everyone to know that Jesus is alive. Wow, Jesus is alive. Jesus is alive. I can be excited and not so sad now. Right, it's a happy story. I did not know I was so happy. I will go tell my friends his story. Hey guys, Jesus is alive. All right. I will go tell them. Good Goodbye. idea. Bye. Bye, Marcelo. Goodbye, everybody. All right, you hey tell guys, your friends. Jesus is alive, you know. All right. Goodbye. Bye, Marcelo. Well, just like the disciples, we can share Jesus' story with all the people we know, and we can be so happy and excited because Jesus is alive. Happy Easter! God is so good. God is so
All right, boys and girls, let's recap our story. So Jesus died on the cross to pay for your sins and mine because he loves us so much. And after Jesus died, he was buried in a tomb, but he didn't stay there. On the third day, Jesus rose from the dead and he's alive. He left the tomb and there's nothing there now. You know, Easter eggs remind us of Jesus. You probably have a few laying around your house. And when you look at the Easter egg, I really hope you remember how Jesus left the tomb and it was empty inside. Another thing about Easter eggs is they remind us of brand new life. Think about a chicken. When a chicken lays an egg, what comes out of the egg? If you said a baby chick, you'd be right. A baby chick is brand new. We can think of brand new life coming out of that egg. When we ask Jesus to be our Savior and Lord, He can give us brand new life too because He paid for our sins on the cross. So when you see an Easter egg, think how Jesus left behind an empty tomb and we can have brand new life through Him.